and northern elders in Kaduna expressed dismay over alleged attempts to revive charges against former governors of northern extraction using the anti graft agency. The criticized that the newspaper's publication titled EFCC Revives 13 Ex Governors and 772 Billion Naira Fraud Cases. The claimed that political class groups are using media platforms to discredit the agency. They command the new leadership of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission under Ola Ulukoyodi for fighting corruption. We are dismayed with the recent report and publication by the one newspaper in the country which was titled as EFCC revised 13S Governor 772 billion Naira fraud cases, in which it hurriedly published names of certain political leaders in our region, an individual with alleged accusations of amazing, amazing public wealth illegally without recourse to the due process and the rule of law. Up till now, the EFCC does not deny or denounce the report of the fund in which, as a result of that, the horrid publication has now become a big embarrassment to our leaders, their family, political associates, and our dear nation in the quest for objectivity and presumption of innocent, emotional, and moral sex, which only could have the right to declare somebody guilty or not. We must also commend the effort of the President Bola Ahmed Tinubu over the recent successful current military operation going on, especially military air strike in major hideout of terrorists in some part of the Northwest. People like me that come from the Northwest are appreciative of what we are seeing and hearing about the air operation going on now in some bushes and some areas of Sokoto, Kebi, Zampara, Kasena, Kaduna, and some part of Niger State. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.